Let's bring back Jonathan Crane. We've reestablished contact, founder and chief executive Crane Shares. Sorry about the interrupt. Pardon the interruption, uh, uh, Jonathan. Yeah, we're back. We, yeah, that's yep. good. So I, I guess what I hear, heard you say in answer to my first question is China may not be leading in the AI race right now, but they have certain advantages there. Does the uh, rulemaking out of Washington enhance the ability of China to compete, uh, or do you think it will be helpful, and can the U.S. and China cooperate on AI instead? Yeah. So Absolutely. So, you know, China advantages are their their population. It's you know, 1.4 billion people um, feeding all the, the data. Also, very strong government support to develop AI. OK, so they will be a leader out there in AI like the United States will be a leader. And, and I, as I mentioned, Europe can be a leader, too. So there'll be multiple leaders all creating AI uh, domestically, organically. But the, and that's for positive AI to to help corporations and, and you know, efficiencies. But it also, um, comp countries need to cooperate. And the U.S.-China relationship around governance of AI is going to be very important, that we're working closely together to, to prevent anything um, uh, around negative AI in terms of um, uses of AI. And I think the U.S.-China communication and relationship um, around AI in terms of global governance is going to be very important, and that includes all countries. Hey, Jonathan, it's Dom. There's one thing that's very clear right now is that the U.S. is trying to regulate and throttle back access to technology that could help China gain even more of an advantage in artificial intelligence. I'm talking about computer chips, right? Yep. There's going to be export controls and everything else. How long does it take China hypothetically, to grow its own semiconductor business that could rival the likes of our chip giants here in the U.S.? Sure. So, obviously, the measures that have been put in place around um, not allowing China access to U.S., um, you know, high-end chips um, is, is actually uh, uh, forcing China to actually develop their own industry faster, okay? So, that, that's the response. Uh, but I still think there'll be some cooperation. I mean, you had NVIDIA CEO recently was in China um, meeting with uh, various companies there like Badu, and they're, they're going to come out with China-specific versions for AI chips. So I still think um, there'll be some cooperation, um, you know, uh, from trade uh, between U.S. and China. But look, I mean, with, with uh, the race around AI, um, I, I do believe uh, it forces China to develop their, their chip industry very quickly. If I want to invest uh, in artificial intelligence through domestic stocks, which would they be? Would they be the big household names we've heard of or something a little more below the radar? Yeah, I think it's both. I mean, I think um, the, you know, the larger companies that are, are developing AI strategies uh, are, you know, th these could help those companies uh, grow even faster. And that's both in the U.S. and China, but then also early stage companies that are very focused on on certain types of applications. Um, the, those companies um, are, you know, also have uh, you know great growth opportunities, and we're seeing that both in the, in the U.S. and China. Um, you know, even you know each each country will have its version. Badu, for instance, which is a a leader in in AI in in China. Um, their chat GPT version is called ErnieBot, and they've quickly um, have over 100 million users and, and counting. So um, I think you'll see a lot of innovation out of both U.S. and China and a lot of opportunity to invest in stocks in both those co countries. So, so we put up Chinese Internet stocks. I'm not sure that those names are ones necessarily that you endorse. They included Baidu, Alibaba, Tencent, uh, I believe. Yes, Tencent and JB.com, uh, JD.com, excuse me. Uh, are those yep. ones that you would, you would say would be investable for U.S. investors? I mean, the, the Chinese market has kind of stunk lately. Yeah, I mean, and that creates the buying opportunity. I think the China market is oversold, um, and a lot of it is not fundamental. So those companies, Badu, Alibaba, Tencent, a lot of the K-Web names um, are all have AI strategies, and they all play into, you know, the 1.4 billion people providing data and fueling the AI 
um, in China. So I if, think those are very good opportunities. If I'm persuaded that these are good opportunities, am I uh, best served by trying to assemble a portfolio of individual stocks on my own or going with a fund like the one you run, which is U.S. China uh, Internet uh, Crane Shares, that or what? What would you suggest I yeah, do? Yeah, I think you I think you take a portfolio approach. Um, K Web, you know, the, um, which is Crane Shares China Internet is the top 31 uh, companies in, in China internet using AI. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, that that's a, 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 a good way to uh, approach the China market through a ETF that has the whole industry.